My name is Dietrich Ayala. I lead the browsers and platforms team at Protocol Labs, and it's my pleasure to kick off IPFS thing by answering a question you all probably have. Why does this event have such a weird name? Last year, we had the very first one of these in Iceland, home of one of the oldest parliaments in the world, where for over a thousand years, the council elders have been gathering to make decisions and talk about the most pressing issues affecting their people. Likewise, when this guy, Juan, articulates a vision of digital human rights that resonates with us, we gather now annually to chart the course, the course forward for the IPFS protocol itself. So the work that you're doing when you're building with IPFS, when you're filing bugs against the protocol, when you're giving feedback in the specifications, that important work, thank you very much for participating in this event to help determine where IPFS goes from here to be able to meet the needs of the internet that needs it very, very badly. Uh, this is an important mission for me after spending a significant chunk of my life trying to make a better web, but still finding ourselves in a place where you can't do something like share a photo with somebody inside your own house without that photo leaving and going through the hands of 38 different for-profit companies. We would like to see a different future, and your participation here is making that possible. With almost double the size of IPFS thing 2022, you being here is what's going to make IPFS able to achieve the vision that we have for the internet and the web that we want to see. So thank you very much for attending. We have three days of talks in the core tracks, followed by two days of mostly open time for you to gather, work together, collaborate, meet new people, and build the internet that you want to see in the world. The event is almost entirely going to take place on this floor of this building, which should make it very, very easy for everybody to find anything. You, some of you are probably going to get lost anyway, but there uh, is a bunch of breakout rooms. We have the three main rooms with the tracks in them, a bunch of rooms that you can use to be able to or self-organize, find your people, help them find you, and make, make the things that you want to make. Um, the seventh floor also has breakout rooms for people to use that have uh, probably a nice view. I haven't been up there yet, but worth checking out. Uh, for logistics, if you haven't checked in already, check in, get your badge. Here's some uh, Wi-Fi information with a very creative password. The last couple of days have a lot of open time. There's a lot of rooms. There's an unconference sheet shared in the Slack, in the general channel. Sign up there, broadcast what you want to do and what you're interested in doing, even if it's not set in stone, so that the people that are interested in that can join you and you can do amazing things together. Uh, dinners, the evening events, the system's very simple. You received a slew of emails from Luma. Go to those emails, click that you accept and join. That way we know you're coming and then you get to eat with friends. Otherwise, you're going to be on your own, but that won't be as fun as hanging out with us. We're going to be going to a bunch of different places around Brussels. It should be a blast. Looking forward to seeing you there. Make sure you go into Luma and click all the yes things here uh, if you want to join. Join the Slack. If you're not there already, we will be using the Slack for every important announcement for the duration of the event. Uh, please watch that. There's channels for each one of the tracks as well. If you want to talk to the community of people that have shared interests in that track, that's the place to do that. You can find all the speakers, ask questions to the track leads, get all that information there. And then at the end of the week, we will take the Slack and make a little effigy of it and burn it in the hopes that next year at IPFS thing, we have something IPFS based that we can use instead of Slack for, for doing this. Um, but <laughs> this event is uh, under the IPFS Community Code of Conduct. Please be excellent to each other. Also, we are in a place with uh, known for its amazing beers. So please uh, intake in moderation and keep an eye out for folks that may or may not need assistance and help. Uh, keep an eye out for each other. And if you need assistance from any of us, please reach out to me, uh, Boris from Fission, Nicole Uni, who I'm not sure are are in the room, uh, but they checked you in at the registration desk. So those folks, and also this email address where all of us organizers are there. We're here to help. We are, uh, just reach out if you need anything from us. Thank you to everybody who participated in make this event happen. These events happen through the hard work and many, many months of planning uh, across a number of different organizations, uh, protocol labs, and a bunch of companies outside of it that all participated in make this happen. So thank you to all of these folks. Please give them a big hand. Uh, 
your, your track leads in particular, uh, I've done a ton of work to be able to create a very engaging and quite full list of talks for each one of these tracks. Uh, so please be very appreciative to the people that are leading the tracks in each one of the rooms and all the speakers that have put a bunch of work into their talks. Uh, this is going to be a short morning with a really lot of information packed in. We have a long series of talks for this next hour. We'll fit a whole bunch of them in a very short period of time, followed by a couple of very important and exciting announcements for you all. Uh, thank you for coming to IPFS Thing. Really appreciate you being here and your commitment to making IPFS as best as it can be to be able to meet the needs of the internet that we all want to see. Uh, so with that, I would like to hand it off to Giannis. Our first speaker of the morning.